Hi everyone, myself MB from Sai Medha and Space Engineering Academy. Now guys, look at the uh, schedule here. This is exclusively designed for the Drona Chara batch students. Okay. So as we are very much uh, uh, eager to see uh, the productive results about the Drona Charya, such that so we are a planned schedule here for the Drona Charya batch students, especially for Tripoli students. The topic we are going to uh, analyze your skills and based on exam is these that transformers okay try to prepare well for this exam before going to write exam try to see all the respective videos of individual topics and try to practice the maximum number of practices available over there i mean by saying so you please see the pre pyqs over there that means either it might be ac or the gate or other pyqs or upsc or genco transcript anything once you are going through the video lectures means you need to be thorough with the pyqs once if you know about the pyqs definitely you can easily ex expect uh, the upcoming question in your future competitive exams so let me read the exam schedule for you the topic is strong as i said earlier is a transformers the exams are going to start on 18th of uh, november okay and that too uh, i will go with the uh, read by dates also here firstly on 18th of november you're going to have an exam on basic concepts of transform transformers and emf equation of a transformer we all known what are the basic concepts how the transformer works on what is the principle behind it and what are the types of what types of winding we are going to use it is it lv hv what is the importance of lv and hv what is the construction of that how many types of windings are there and what about the emf very important thing is emf equation in this the emf equation is uh, playing a vital role in a uh, uh, even in a uh, uh, getting in the marks in a uh, calculation point of view, problematic point of view also you can expect a question in a emf equation based questions also okay try to be aware of that so the timings will be very flexible it will be available from the uh, the exam date of evening time to the next day of uh, that uh, date for example if you want to write this exam the exam is going to be available from 18th evening to next day morning uh, this is the timing you can flexibly write the individual exams of this uh, transformers so the second topic uh, that is going to be on 22nd of 11th that is november 22nd you have uh, very flexible and uh, sufficient time to prepare for individual topic here almost we have 3 to 4 days of top time for individual topic try to be prepared very well in this uh, second day uh, second day of exam that is going to be the construction of uh, transformer and ideal transformers how the ideal transformer is going to be there okay I, I, what do you mean by ideal going to be 100% efficiency right that is the ba base of ideal any ideals thing in the case of transformer also what is the ideal what are the type of core we are going to use it uh, and uh, complete construction details as i said so this is going to be on 22nd of uh, november and 25th of november the practical transformer under no load condition and a practical transformer under load condition you people already known that so once the transformer is getting to the operative if it don't doesn't have any load over there it cannot get to the secondary part of uh, output voltage that we all known that so uh, if you if you connect it with the load there is a possibility of the current to flow in the secondary winding right so what happen if it is a no load condition what happens if it is a load is existed there are two conditions basis uh, analysis is there that is going to be conducted on the 25th of uh, november the next exam will be on the 28th of uh, november that is practical transformer with effect of winding resistance and leakage flux once you able to operate the transformer you need to supply you need to supply to the primary winding as you all known there is some leakage uh, flux over there to the magnetic material core right and one more thing there is, there is a effect of winding resistance once you are using the a coil a wounded coil is in the primary or secondary definitely you are going to have the resistance importance over there the resistance impact over there so what about the resistance impact over there and what about the importance of leakage flux over there that is going to be conducted on 28th of november and the next one is the last in the last of transformer that is going to be conducted on 31st of november this is this is a november here 31st of uh, november whatever the losses here there you all people know about it okay right there are two types of losses general like uh, eddy current loss is also there okay stress loss all there so what about the possibilities of loss all there right uh, on basis of that so alandi uh, like you can see the loss also next efficiency of transformers uh, and voltage regulation people already know about voltage regulation formula and voltage regulation based problems also important here what are the efficiency of that testing of transformers uh, efficiency uh, this is the third and uh, efficiency uh, it was over testing of transformer will be on 6th of uh, december 
and likewise you're going to have an auto transformer once you, once any transformer is designed with uh, both primary and secondary with a single winding that's we generally call it as a auto transformer in general in a in a in a normal and understandable language so you're going to have an exam auto transformers also on 9th of uh, december and 15th of december you're going to have an uh, exam and a three phase transformers three phase uh, transformers and a 17th of uh, 12th that is uh, parallel operation of transformer with the switching uh, transition and transformers and effect of uh, non linearities of transformer this is going to be on uh, the 17th of december so just i want to mention about the loss also we have like uh, core loss and copper loss also you people all know about it i just uh, uh, wanted to stress about that core loss and copper loss also on base of that the transformers is there transformer loss is not about eddy and uh, hysteresis of course there is the importance of eddy current and uh, hysteresis loss also but i can say that copper in majority uh, in, a, in a in a simple language you can say there are two types of losses copper and uh, 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 core losses once they both are equal uh, you're going to get a maximum efficiency also these are the conditions in a subject once if you revise everything you'll get to know about the complete details about it this is complete uh, uh, exam schedule this is complete exam schedule for a uh, dronacharya batch so we are requesting to go through the respective videos and see all the pyqs uh, uh, questions first of all okay then you can if you if required you can see the respective video lectures also okay so uh, uh, i just wish you all the best for all these exams okay and uh, have a, a great time in the exams and uh, try to uh, enhance your knowledge and uh, i wish for a productive outcome of these exams thank you so much for watching this video if not you subscribe to our youtube channel sai meda hyderabad please subscribe it and please like this video and encourage our work thank you once again i'm going to meet in the next video until then bye take care